Hey you guys and welcome to Foundation February. I did Foundation February last year, but in case you are new to my channel, this is basically where I'm going to be posting only foundation videos for the entire month of February. I can't post every single day, but whenever I do upload a video, it will be a foundation-based video. Lots of reviews and wear tests, as well as some first impressions, quite a few first impressions this time. I have a lot of new foundations that I'm testing out. So I hope you guys are excited. If there are any foundations that you would like to see me use in the month of February, please let me know in this video so I have enough time to get the foundation. That's pretty much it. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's also only going to be drugstore foundations featured. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you enjoy Foundation February. As always, thank you for watching and let's go ahead and get started. So I didn't even tell you in the intro what I was going to be wearing today, but I'm going to be testing out the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I think this came out before Christmas. I think Revlon is one of those brands that I just never feel the urge to purchase from. I don't know, I just, I haven't had a lot of luck with their products. Their foundations are actually pretty good though, which is why I wanted to try this one out. I have the shade 200 Nude, which I think is going to be too light for me. I didn't even realize it, but I'm usually 250 in Revlon foundations, so that kind of sucks. Not actually any claims on this packaging except that it says it's me medium buildable coverage. There's no harsh ingredients. It's anti-pollution. I don't really know what that means. Maybe when they make it, like in the factories when they make it, it's anti-pollution. It says it's antioxidant, anti-blue light, and oil-free. Nothing about how long it's gonna wear or the finish of it, so we'll see how it looks and wears throughout the day. I'm never really sure if I should use my regular like priming and setting powder products when I'm testing out a foundation. Never sure if it's gonna really affect the wear time of the foundation, but I've decided that I'm going to use my normal primers and um, setting powders, but I'm not going to set my foundation during the wear test, unless I really need to, unless it like looks so bad that I need to set it. I think I'm gonna stick to not using a setting spray this month, but I'm gonna prime my face with the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go Primer and Setting Spray. I think I wanna use a sponge with this foundation because it looks quite thick and it's like in a squeezy tube. So I think a sponge is our the safest bet. It's a pretty thick and goopy foundation. I don't really know how much to apply, but I started with about one and a half pumps and I'm just going to blend that with this NYX blending sponge. Okay, that blended into my skin, I think pretty well. It's definitely, I don't know, I'd say light coverage, especially with a sponge. Like I don't think it covered up any of my imperfections really at all. I might go have to go in with like another layer on top of those spaces. Also that like pretty much used up the entire one and a half pumps. Like I mentioned, this shade is probably too light for me, but I'm just gonna have to make it work today. I bought mine off London Drugs and it was the only shade that was like semi right. Like I don't think they had any deeper but not too deep shades, so I had to go with this one. There's not really a scent to this product. The Revlon foundations that I've tried, which include their whipped foundation, oh what is it, Colorstay, their Colorstay whipped foundation as well as their Colorstay liquid foundation. Those ones kind of smell like paint, but this one doesn't really have a scent. Okay, this side looks a little bit better, I think. Actually, it's got a really nice glow to it. I feel like that might be a little bit concerning if it's going to get oily throughout the day. I'm gonna go in with like a little bit more on the other side just to even out my face a little bit. Okay, so this looks a bit better now, I think. I still would say it's more like light coverage, especially with a sponge. You'll probably get better coverage with a brush, but with a sponge, definitely light coverage and I did go in with like about two layers. It feels pretty tacky to touch and it's giving me a really nice glow but then it is feeling a little tacky so I'm gonna set it with a powder for sure. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, I don't think I did, but I have a normal skin type, normal to combination skin type, definitely more combo in the summer when it's hot out. In the winter, I think I'm more normal. I do have a couple dry patches on my face as well. This foundation doesn't seem to be clinging to any of those patches though. Like I mentioned, I think it's about a medium coverage with a sponge. It doesn't look heavy on my skin. You can definitely tell I'm wearing foundation 
but it doesn't look too heavy or cakey. It seemed to blend in with my skin really well. Looks like it's a foundation that's gonna cake up throughout the day, but we'll see if it like actually cakes up throughout the day. It's like it has the potential to get cakey. This color is not a good match for me. First of all, it's too light, and then it's also kind of pink. I definitely feel like it's giving me a really pretty glow to my skin. It doesn't feel heavy on my face. It does feel quite lightweight. I just don't really like how it is looking when I get really up close. I think it kind of is accentuating textures and bumps on my skin a little bit more than what I'm used to. I feel like the glow is nice, but I don't think that's going to be very ideal if I'm going to get oily throughout the day. I didn't like that I had to apply two layers of this to get at least kind of a medium coverage. I mean, it did say medium buildable coverage on the bottle, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Those are my initial thoughts. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. I'll pop back in and tell you guys what else I applied on my face and then I'm going to go about my day. I will do I think a midday check-in because I have time today. It's a Sunday when I'm filming this so I'll do a midday check-in and then I will come back at the end of the night and show you guys how the foundation held up. So I just finished applying my makeup. It's 1.51 in the afternoon, so basically 2 o'clock, but I did finish my foundation around 1.30. So I'm just going to call the like start time, 1.30. So I'll try and keep this foundation on for about eight hours, eight or nine. Usually my day is longer than eight or nine hours, but I don't think today I can do any longer than like maximum nine. Now that I've applied the rest of my makeup, I think it looks a little bit better. I really wanted to set my face with my e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. It doesn't feel dry, but I feel like I need to set it, and it looks, I think it looks a little bit dry now that I've applied the rest of my makeup on top. It doesn't look that bad on the view, in like the viewfinder at least from what I can tell but in person I feel like my skin just doesn't look like itself. On the rest of my face I did apply my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away concealer for my under eyes. I only applied very little on my under eyes and around my mouth because I didn't want to take away from the foundation. To set the center of my face and my under eyes I used my Milani Prep Setting Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I also set the rest of my face really lightly with the Wet n Wild Pressed powder. For bronzer, I wanted to use something a lot more warm to really kind of bring back those warm undertones, and I used the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Perpetually Tan. I also used a warm blush, and I used the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Rose Doro. And on my lips, I'm actually testing out the L'Oreal Signature Matte Rouge, I think that's what they're called. They're like their new liquid lipsticks. By the time you guys watch this video. I think I already have a swatch and review up on these. But yeah, that's pretty much everything on my face. So I'm going to carry on with the rest of my day. I don't have a lot to do today. I'm just going to clean up. I still haven't taken down my Christmas decorations. So I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to clean up my whole apartment. Then I have to just go pick up some groceries. And that's pretty much it. I don't have a super busy schedule today. I am going to do yoga. So maybe I will do yoga and then we'll see how the foundation lasts through yoga. I'll probably see you guys around 6 o'clock, maybe 6 o'clock in the evening evening so we'll see how it looks then hey you guys i left my phone over there but it's currently 4 30 in the evening kind of close to the windows in my dining room right now because the sun is like about to set so i figured this would be a good time to do a check-in i know it's only been like three hours instead of four let me just like pull you guys closer i actually think the foundation doesn't look that bad right now my face doesn't feel oily or greasy or anything there's definitely no oil coming through yet at all I did end up walking to the grocery store and carrying two very heavy bags of groceries back. I My arms feel like they're about to fall off. And I'm still gonna do yoga this evening, so we'll see how it holds up after that. Don't have any complaints with it right now, except that I feel like it's accentuating texture a lot on my skin. I feel like it's really accentuating all of the little bumps and stuff on my skin, which I don't like. I like smoothing foundations that aren't going to show off all the bumps. It's okay so far. Like I don't really have anything negative to say, like majorly negative to say at this point. I also don't know if it's oxidized. I feel like it's pretty good. It maybe got like half a shade darker. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with my day. I will check in with you guys around 9.30 tonight and let you know how the foundation looks. And yeah, I also just wanted to show you guys something really cool. I want to show you guys this because it's finally getting to that time when I I can watch the sunsets from my balcony without, you know, like when you get home from work and it's too dark and you're just 
you wake up in darkness and you get home in darkness, I can finally see the sunsets again. I'm so excited. Hey, you guys. So it is 9.30 in the evening right now. So this foundation has been on my face for about eight hours. I actually think it looks pretty good for eight hours. It hasn't gotten oily or greasy or anything. Looking more closely at my skin, it hasn't actually broken up anywhere. It doesn't look like it's separating or anything like that on my skin. I think I've lost some of the coverage around my mouth area mostly from blowing my nose and I was eating. Everywhere else on my face, the coverage looks like it's still there. Color kind of warmed up to my skin. I don't look quite as ghostly as I did at the beginning of the day. So I'm actually pretty impressed by the staying power of this foundation. I don't actually mind it. Like I think I didn't like it so much when I first applied it, but now looking at it and throughout the day when I was checking my face in the mirror and stuff, I actually didn't think it looked that bad. The coverage could definitely have been a bit better for a foundation that claims to be medium. I do think this is a foundation that needs to mix with your skin chemistry and kind of just get time to warm up to your skin. I definitely liked it better throughout the day than I did when I first applied it. I have not touched up at all throughout the day. I did not apply powder. And don't forget, I also did not wear setting spray. I'm interested to see how it would look with a setting spray, but I'm so tired. I don't know why, but like all of a sudden at like 8.45, I had to take a nap. I don't know why, like I'm still like so tired. I think even though it's like only 9.30, I think I'm just gonna go right to bed after I wrap up this video. I think it looks pretty good. Like I do think this is a pretty decent, long lasting foundation. I am gonna wear it to work to see if I feel differently after a longer day, like a 12 hour day. I'll see how I feel then, but definitely for a solid eight hours, I think this foundation looks pretty decent. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy this upcoming Foundation February series. I love doing it, but I also am worried because my skin always breaks out when I'm testing a whole bunch of new foundations. So I'm really worried about my skin freaking out in the month of February. Hopefully I can get through as many videos as I, as I can without a breakout. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.